Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Welcome back to the ongoing free game development series. The entire idea behind this series is to gather together all of the best resources, tools, etc. available for game developers as long as they are free. Uh, and so far we have covered a number of categories and we have a whole lot to go. Now this series is actually being hosted over on Dev Game. If you go to the URL uh, devga.me forward slash free, of course that link will be down below, you can see what we have covered so far. But we've gotten into... 3D game engines somewhat, 2D graphics resources, 3D graphics resources, and text editors so far. And today we are going to start off the 2D graphics applications category. Now that category itself is uh, going to be multiple steps. Today we are looking specifically at animation. We will also be covering uh, drawing applications, specifically pixel, vector, and then uh, bitmap graphics applications as well. And I will do that in a separate video. So today we are focusing just on 2D animation tools. And as it goes, we're not going to go into a huge amount of detail on each one. Uh, and some of them, however, I have already actually covered. For example, Synfig, I've done a video on it. Uh, a couple of these other ones I've done videos on, Dragon Bones, etc. So those ones where I have done a video, I do a link to learn more. So if you want to learn more about a particular application, check out to see if I have already covered it. And then a few of them I haven't covered in more depth yet, such as Open Tunes, but that will happen. I do intend to cover most of these applications at some point in time. So if you are looking for more information, do be sure to check that out to see if I have covered it. All right, without further ado, let us jump in and take a look at the applications. Now, first off, we have OpenTunes. Now, OpenTunes is an open source animation production software, everything you need basically to create 2D animations. Now, this started life as a program called Tunes and was actually used by uh, Studio Ghibli uh, to make a number of very, very popular anime packages, uh, but they've spun it off. It is completely free of charge. Uh, it is open source software now. Uh, so definitely check this one out. Now keep in mind, this one is very much from a enterprise style workflow. So this is the most uh, professional scale of the programs we're gonna be covering here. It's also probably the most complicated, but that is open tunes. And if you're doing traditional 2D animation, you definitely owe it your, to yourself to check out open tunes. Now next up we have Synfig Studio. Now again, I've already covered this in a video, so if you want to learn more, do check that video out. Uh, it is open source 2D animation software, Windows, Linux, and OS X. Uh, as you can see here, it is in action. Now a lot of these 2D animations work somewhat the same way by setting a series of keyframes across a timeline. Uh, you basically transition states of your drawn animation. Now this is both a drawing package and an animation package. And like I said, I've done a video, so that is as much detail as I am going to get into. But you can see it is open source and available for most of the platforms that the world cares about. Next up, we have Pencil 2D Animation. It's another, uh, it's similar in scope to what Synfig is. Uh, it is another cross platform, so Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and FreeBSD. And this one is also open source. Now, I've not done a video on Pencil 2D yet. Hopefully, I will get back to that. Uh, but you can seamlessly switch between raster and vector style workflows. Um, so, sketch, ink, paint on the go, and then animate over time. Uh, we've also got Animation Paper. Now this one is not a um, open source project, unlike all the stuff we've seen so far. In fact, you're not even getting the full blown package. What you are getting is an old version, but you're getting an old version completely free, no strings attached. So you can see here, everyone is invited to download and use the original version of Animation Paper. It's old, but it's free, no strings attached, enjoy. So basically, if you wanna check out their older version, they're making it available um, just to use. Now, of course, they've got a newer version available, uh, that is for sale. Um, but this is, again, another drawing and animation package. Uh, next up, we have Sticks. Now, I included this one on the list mostly just to be complete because um, it, it's it's very niche and it's very old. Uh, but it is a 2D animation package and it is free. It's available for Mac, OS X, and Windows. And this is all about frame-by-frame -frame animation of um, the stick figures. Uh, so again, maybe not that much practical use, but I wanted to make this list comprehensive, so Sticks is on it. Uh, it is not, however, open source just something to be aware of. Uh, another one we've got with no seemingly homepage is TubiTube. Now, TubiTube, I 
kind of don't get where it stops from being a package and starts to becoming a service. It is a little confusing, but this is a 2D animation tool aimed at children and amateur artists. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, it is free. I do also believe that it, yeah, it is also open sourced under the GPL license. And that's about the extent of what I actually know about TubiTube, uh, TubiTube, sorry. Uh, again, targeted more towards younger kids. Uh, it is under active development and being updated. Uh, I just don't know why they don't have a better homepage focus other than a SourceForge page, but another one for the list. And next we get into Dragon Bones. Now I've done a video on Dragon Bones if you want to drill down and get into it. Now Dragon Bones is completely different from everything we have covered on this list so far. And what it is, as you can actually see it in the background image shown here, it is a bone-based animation system. Now this one is much more focused for game developers uh, because you actually get run times that you can take the animations you make here in Dragon Bones, these 2D animations you make by basically you create your graphic, you cut it into various different pieces. So you would have the back arm, the forearm, the front leg, the back leg, and the main body, etc. And then you can manipulate those using bones and uh, freeform mesh deformations. And then, like I said, there are run times available for various different game engines, such as Unity, Unreal, Godot, and so on. So you can actually control your bone-based 2D animations in real time. Now, this is much more focused towards game developers. This same kind of workflow can be used for traditional animation as well, but this is definitely targeted at um, game developers specifically. Now, this guy is not alone. Unlike Dragon Bones, there's also um, Spriter, there's uh, Spine, uh, there's Creature, and another one that I'm forgetting. So there are a couple of other options out there. The big difference is Dragon Bones is specifically uh, free. Now, I've actually did a video about a month or two back covering uh, the animation options that are out there, but it was not focused on free versions. So if you're interested in bone-based animation in general, not necessarily uh, just free tools, do be sure to check that video out as well. Um, there's other options out there, but that is Dragon Bones. And uh, next up, we have Blender, especially Blender 2.8. Now, there's always been the ability to do 2D in 3D. Most 3D fact, most 2D packages are actually 3D that just ignore one of the planes anyways. But with Blender 2.8, it's a tool inside of it called Grease Pencil, got a huge functionality boost. And now Blender 2.8 is going to be a huge 2D animation suite on top of a 3D animation stuff. I actually just did a video on this and I've linked that in the link down below as well. So if you're interested in learning more about doing 2D and 2D animation inside of Blender 2.8. I'll walk you through that entire process in that video, but don't be shocked that this is this 3D package is also quickly going to become one of the most powerful 2D animation softwares out there. And on top of that, it is also completely free and open source and has a gigantic community behind it. Now, there's still a long ways to go, but what is there now is staggeringly powerful, especially compared to what was in uh, Blender 2.79. And then on that topic, back in the age of Blender 2.79, we're not talking the uh, sexiest web page you've ever seen, but there's something called COA tools. And this is a 2D animation plugin for Blender 2.79 that gives Blender the same kind of functionality that we just saw in Dragon Bones. Basically allows you to animate 2D cutout characters using uh, bone-based uh, architecture, bone-based systems. So if you are looking for something like um, Dragon Bones or Spine or Sprite or so on, uh, but you want to work in Blender, COA tools is exactly what you're looking for. And then the cool thing is there is actually an importer for an older version of Godot. So if you want to run your runtime directly in that game engine, uh, you do have an exporter there as well. And that is it. That is our list of 2D graphics applications under our free game development tutorial series. Again, I'm going to probably finish out the 2D category before moving on to the, any of the other categories, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to start seeing things for uh, pixel art, vector graphics, and traditional bitmap graphics, and we're also going to have Krita. So a lot of you are probably wondering, hey, where's Krita on this list? That's uh, It does 2D animations, and technically so does GIMP, and some of these other uh, 2D raster tools also have animation tools built in. I kind of made a judgment call if it was primarily 
animation based, it made this list. If it was a 2D graphics drawing calculation package with animation support, it will be on the list later on. And there's an area I actually want to solicit your feedback or your opinion down below. Uh, I know when it comes to uh, pixel art applications, there are a ton of them and I'm not capturing all of them. But what I do want to know in the comments down below is which ones are your favorites. When I put together that list of 2D pixel art type applications, I want to have as best of the list as possible. So I want to get at least the greatest hits on there. I have about 25 other drawing packages all ready to go and to be updated on this guy. So the next video in this series will be that. But if you have some suggestions for it, please do let me know them in the comments down below. And also, uh, this linked article right here will be updated. Again, I'm planning to revisit these in about a year's time in video and text form. That way we know we can keep this uh, free resource guide as completely relevant and up to date. So if something's fallen off, it will be removed. Something has been added, it will of course be added. But if you have a suggestion for a free 2D animation tool that I missed on this list, please also let me know that in the comments down below and I will make sure I have added it. Also, if you are seeing a category on here that I am missing that you are interested in seeing covered. Please do let me know. This resource is all about you guys. So if I'm missing something that you guys are interested in, let me know. I'll make sure to add it. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.